Hey everybody. So, I got another uh, Oktoberfest beer. Because, why not? Silver City's Oberfest. Imperial Oktoberfest. Um, Imperial is the <laughs> brewer's equivalent of turn it up to 11. So, it just means more. That's all the Imperial means. You'll see Imperial Stouts pretty commonly, some Imperial Porters, Imperial IPAs are becoming a thing. They generally have more of the malt, more of the hops, and just more. I have not tasted this at all yet. I picked it up at Costco today. Um, it pours nice and um, amber. It's a good color on the red side of honey. Not much of a head, pretty thin head. Um, it was just a little bit taller than it is now when I poured it just a moment ago. Um, and always smell your beer. Oh, hi, Tati. Um, yeah, so I'm smelling grain. I mean, malt, obviously. Um, not really any hoppy bitterness in the nose. Uh, smells very promising. Oh, that's tasty. Um, on the sweeter side, the finish, five seconds in, the finish is, is dry, kind of crackers, which is really pleasant, with some sweetness back in the throat. That's, that's pretty good. has a bit of a, a liquor flavor up front. Um, tasty. I mean, it's Imperial, so yeah, it's more. It's an 8% ABV as opposed to most of the others I've reviewed recently are, or drunk recently are 4%, maybe a 5 at the highest. Um, so 8% ABV, so you're tasting that alcohol definitely more so at the front. It's not unpleasant, it's just there. Um, and then that really, like, kind of sweet maltiness, very little to no hops. This is on the low end of a of an Oktoberfest bitterness wise. And then that really nice kind of cracker dry finish. So that was the uh, Silver City Brewery Oberfest Imperial Oktoberfest. Um, Silver City is out of, I'm pretty sure it's a Northwest. Yep, Bremerton, Bremerton, Washington. I've seen these elsewhere. It's a, it's a decently sized brewery. Um, if you find one, give it a try. It'll warm you up.